Hey, hi. I'm Crazy Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. I'm just looking at the very first calendar and going over today's science file. In today's science file, it says... How did ancient people track the year? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need some rocks, a railing, and a sunny day. Today, I am going to show you how to make your very own calendar right at home. I'm not talking about, you know, one of those big days of the week out, you know, with the boxes and numbers and the mud at the top. I'm talking about a solar calendar because I am going to show you how to make your very own solar calendar right at home. So the first thing you need is the sun because you can't make a solar calendar without it. <laughs> and the next thing you're going to want to get is, yeah, that's right, a railing. <laughs> you thought I was going to say a rock, right? <laughs> that's the third item. Okay, here's what you're going to do. You're going to take your rock and you're going to line your rock up with the sun in the horizon. A lot like this. Okay, so now you've got to wait an entire month before we can do the next step. But, but it's way wicked cool, so, you know, you're going to want to wait it. Whoa! Whoa, now check this out. Each of the months that I did this, you can see that the sun moves across the horizon. Now that's so wicked cool! So, why does the sun move across the horizon? And, how is this like a calendar? Well, don't look at me! Take a closer look at this. The reason the sun moves across the horizon is due to a phenomenon known as parallax. Parallax simply means appearance of objects due to motion. Parallax is one of the major reasons we know the Earth goes around the Sun. If we record the Sun in the horizon at one spot, the Earth will move from that current position. As the Earth moves, we'll see the Sun at a slightly different angle from what we previously recorded. If we continue to track the Sun for a whole year, we'll get six rocks, and the Sun will continue to bounce back and forth through those rocks. Ancient cultures figured this out about 8,000 BC and used this to mark important events throughout the year, such as the spring and autumn equinoxes. This was important because ancient people needed to know when to plant crops as well as when to harvest those crops. In fact, many of our modern day winter solstice celebrations are based upon the sun. On December 21st in the northern hemisphere, the sun stops rising above the horizon for three days. On December 25th, the sun would rise up one degree in the horizon. Ancient people celebrated this because to them it meant this fictional supernatural being would return them to the warmer, sunny days of life. So now you know how ancient people track the year. You know, making your own solar calendar right at home is why science is so cool.